Yes! Come on! No, seriously, thank you guys so much for helping us achieve 100,000 subscribers. The photographs, the banter, the comments, and just sharing with us and everybody the things that you guys have been up to over the last two years. Let's not forget, e-man bikes have only really been around six or seven years, so for us to reach 100,000, I think, is massive. Yeah, it's super impressive, but we want to keep cranking on. Tell your friends about EMBN, get your friends on an e-bike, just keep spreading that e-bike love. Yes. Well, it seems Continental are ceasing production of their e-bike motors. They actually made three motors, but it was the 48 volt revolution, which pioneered uh, many things. It was first to offer a stepless automatic gearbox. No doubt Continental will continue to make their tires. I'm sure one day they'll have an e-bike tire. Uh, talking about the black stuff, we've got new uh, Black Friday t-shirts. Check them out on the EMBN shop, 13.99. Yeah, I'm talking the news. I've seen Sam Pilgrim's been getting wild once again out in his local woods. He's added a portable kicker to the mix. Now, this looks amazing, fun. We'll can get a hold of one of these, but he's doing sending massive flips, loads of tricks, typical Sam Pilgrim style. But one thing I've noticed as well, he's picked up one of the cake electric bikes. Now, this looks a load of fun. Sweden, Sweden or Norway? Sweden, I think. Yeah. yeah, it looks super interesting. He's riding that thing absolutely wild around the woods, getting it sideways, mm -hmm. big jumps, and I'm sure we're going to see that thing going upside down in the woods near you. Looks, soon. looks great fun. E-bike mm -hmm. on a like a mini bike style track, yeah. really quiet in the woods. Don't mm -hmm. upset the neighbours. Yeah, There's a lot to be said about it, Chris. Fancy one of them myself for yeah. sure. Boutique bikes, super bikes, hyper bikes. What exactly is a boutique bike? I suppose you could actually argue that performance, reliability, and aesthetic is just as important as lightweight parts and an expensive paint job. Boutique is actually a term used by many parts of the mountain bike media just to create a little bit of hype, a little bit of a reason to spend that money. You could, I suppose, say that boutique bikes simply are expensive bikes. Then, of course, you need to bear in mind that affordability is a relative thing. But let's go have a look at some super expensive bikes. Now, if boutique equals price, then the Trek Rail certainly stands a chance at 10,999 euros. But what do you get? Well, you get a full carbon frame, carbon wheels, SRAM axis electronic gears. I mean, it pretty much has it all. Fourth generation Bosch motor, big battery, stealth black. Maybe that's it. Now, as I said earlier, you can usually relate boutique to fancy paint jobs on mountain bikes. This is a Project One bike from Trek. Now, this is a scheme where they do custom paint jobs out of their factory in Wisconsin. I just love the look of this. I'm just wondering how long will it be before we have custom painted e-mountain bikes? This is the Funk. It's in radioactive purple and radioactive pink. I wonder if they could do the Rail 9.9 .9 in this. I mean, that rail is 10,999. Probably gonna add a couple of grand to it. Hmm. Now, Batik could actually be a collection of parts rather than a bike that is plucked off the shelf. This year is Loic Bruni's uh, custom S-Works Levo. Loic is the reigning World Cup downhill champion. He's got some DT wheels on there. He's got Magura brakes, obviously with 200 mil rotors on there. Olin's coil on the rear and an Olin's fork up front. Looks like it's 160 mil travel. Uh, he's got his own joystick bar and stem on there. And of course, the custom paint job. Coming up on the channel on Friday, Chris talks in detail about how to use your brakes to climb more efficiently on your e-mountain bike. A really good video mm -hmm. that'll help, help you get up all those technical climbs. Yeah, and on Sunday, I hear you take a visit to your local doctors, is that right? Uh, to the Priory, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, no, seriously, I do go out with my doctor. Uh, it's quite a bit of a reality check. I mean, the weather was horrendous, but she started using her e-bike to go and see her patients. So, uh, yeah, quite uh, quite an emotional video, actually, Chris. Sounds pretty interesting. Yeah. Well, what can we say about the Surrey Six Days Trial, Steve? What can you say, Chris? It's what pretty, can you say? Pretty funny, so he's bog snorkeling <laughs> around, rolling around in the bogs. Yeah. Tom O'Kyoka, he's saying, when in Who? doubt, Tomo Kyoka. Okay. 
When Tom Akuka. Yeah, yeah. When, when in doubt, Steve assumes the turtle back position. Turtle recall, that's for sure. <laughs> to be rolling around, that's pretty good. Mikey is saying, oh, oh, Steve. Dear. Steve would have won if he had his magic wellies on. Great stuff, awesome content. Yeah, it was great. It was great, great, great fun hanging around with those guys. They, yeah. you know, they get some serious skill on, on e-bikes. Interesting to see, they actually use their e-bikes three times a week. So, really? um, yeah, I mean, World Cup season ends sort of September time. And yeah, they go out in the woods having fun. That's what it's all about. Get away from the competitive element. Big question is, do you think your magic wellies would have saved the day? Uh, I actually thought I would have won that event, but uh, things went down early doors. So we'll off days, don't we? We do, we do indeed. Some great images coming in from around the world this week. Uh, Fred out in Squamish has been out building and also doing some rock slab climbing. Yeah, it looks amazing. Ah, mental, right? Yeah, super steep as well, check yeah. that out. Yeah. Meanwhile, Scott has been out in Swinley Forest on his Focus Jam. Yeah, he's been hitting up the jumps. He says, although having multiple sclerosis and being completely numb down the right side of my body, I still like to get out and shred the trails, not for fun, but for my own mental headspace and mental health too. I can frequently become wobbly often can be found in a ditch, but he's sessioning in the jumps at 44 years old. Look at that. Wow, fair dues, Scott, fair dues. <laughs> nice, but if you want to get featured on Where in the World, use the upload service. Details for that are on screen now. Now, I've got to say, this week's bike vault is absolutely top class. Some of the best images I've seen actually in one folder. Now, Chris, you chose this week's bike vault. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a strong one. Start there. rolling. Yeah. Uh, with a nice Ken shot here with Andy and his mate Martin, special as Levo, and Callendale Motera 2 out on Goatland Moor, North Yorkshire, shredding the trails. Nice, look, some good trails to have on your doorstep. Mm. Next up, River sent in this picture of his Fantic Integra 160. He's in Mont Mont uh, Monte Canera, Italy, just purchased it. He's saying, loves the show. Sincerely, the Italian Stallion. Ooh, Phil on the Focus Jam Squared. He's uh, shredding the can of chase. Monkey Trail answering loads of questions about his e-bike in between his shredding. Bit of a funky angle on there, Chris. Nice. Getting all industrial here with Roman and his specialized Levo. He's out in Carlsbad in the Czech Republic, hitting the trails to clear his head after a big day at work. Carlsbad? I thought Carlsbad was in California. Uh, anyway, meanwhile, Gareth has been out uh, playing in the snow in Clandegla, one plant North Wales, and his Levo. Mm -hmm. um, real blast out there. Uh, meanwhile, Marcin high up in Walbridge Mountains, Poland, on his ghost hybrid Kato. Loving the long, slow jack slack geometry on his bike there. It's good. Rob <clears> says, thanks to you guys, I finally got myself an e-mountain bike. Big fan, love the content, keep it going. He brought a Stevens e-sledge 2019 model. He's out in Wolderset in South Germany. Nice. We need to somehow uh, top up on our um, pronunciation of some of these places, sure. I think. <laughs> and two more. Ben has been out admiring the scenery, as he puts it, laying on the beach on a cruisy coast ride in his Track Powerfly FSM out on the Gold Coast. Wow, look at that beach, makes me pretty jealous. Last one, we've got Rich from Derbyshire. He's out dodging the rain on his 2018 Levo. Look at that for a nice poppy field setting. I Amazing. think, I think, Pretty much all those are super nice images. Yeah. Uh, but there's got to be only one bike of the week, Chris. I, I think. Can, I can see which one I like. It's got to be Roman, I think, with specialized Levo so? with that digger. Uh, do you know what, Roman? I think that picture is so cool. We're going to have to put that on our new set, yeah. which super is coming sometime over the next two months. So a massive double super, super nice. nice to Roman out in Carlsbad, right? Yeah, keep them coming. We love seeing all those bikes here on EMBN. Don't forget to get your bike in the bike vault. Use the upload service. That's it, guys. Uh, next week, it's the 100th. EMBN show. Mm, Can you one. actually believe it? Uh, what about boutique bikes though? What do you guys think about boutique bikes? Have you actually got a boutique bike? What do you think makes a boutique bike? Get involved in all the comments uh, down below. Mm -hmm. If you want to stick around and check out another video, the nights are getting in. So we take a look at all the lights that you can use for your night riding. It's really amazing. If you haven't done it already, get out there. It's an amazing experience on your e-bike. Yeah, and in the meantime, don't forget to tune in to the Surrey Hills six day, that mm -hmm. ride with Brennan Fairclough, uh, Ollie Wilkins and Bernard Kerr. So see you next week for the 100th show.